five inch display for the Raspberry Pi. So you can see that um, it connects with the HDMI to HDMI connector right there. Uh, you, you only need to power either the display or the Raspberry Pi and both will be on. I'm using a, a 2.4 um, amp uh, 5 watt USB to micro USB. Um, so I have it connected through Wi-Fi right now but uh, this is just how it looks and you can see how the pins are connected it's uh, at the very edge uh, these some other pins are available if you uh, if you need to uh, connect the pins um, there is a little um, a display switch right over here if my camera can focus right here it's a backlit so you can turn it off and now it's off or you can turn it on Okay, so um, I ha when I first set it up, it was actually missing this side of the screen. Um, so everything was truncated onto the this side of the screen. So uh, right now I have it working and the touch screen is all working. Uh, so I can post in the comments below um, the instructions of how to uh, the code the code to uh, put into the uh, into your Raspberry Pi. Um, it also came with these little uh, the holders. Um, I'm assuming it's to connect it with the the screws on the bottom. But um, you can see where my thumb is right now. Um, but there's really nothing else that I have to connect it to it. I'm guessing it might be a holder or a display holder. Okay. Also comes with a little um, a little stick to like a a pen. Um, so I have it connected, as you can see, VNC here, and also I have a terminal um, through PuTTY onto my computer. And this is with my full computer, so I can use the mouse and keyboard. So uh, I, I use this for VNC, and so basically this allows me just to um, just use the mouse, um, just for programming purposes. Then there was also on uh, the PuTTY, which allowed me to type in the code. And then uh, basically, you have to go sudo nano, sudo nano, and go into the boot folder and config that text. And um, basically, that's and then you have to edit this config file, um, and then uh, that allows you to um, utilize the whole screen. This uh, sudo nano apt-get install x input calibrator um, that's to install the the touch screen. Okay. Once you have the touch screen installed, though, then you you'll want to go into your tools, uh, the the menu, uh, the preferences, and then calibrate your touch screen. Otherwise, your touch screen it might be a little bit off, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, depending on your your own scenario. But otherwise, um, it was a fairly easy install. The probably the hardest part was uh, trying to find out what the IP address was um, of my Raspberry Pi before I proceeded to um, use PuTTY or the VNC. Hope this helped.